Okay everyone, this is a quick overview of my scratch built brushless gimbal. Uh, for a long time I have been using one of these Chinese jobbies, which was absolutely fine, no problem with it, but I wanted to be able to put a bigger Canon PowerShot camera on the copter. Um, I'm going to reuse that and turn it into a uh, three axis to put on my new Y4 copter. But I figured I would break out the CNC machine and came up with this. It's using the uh, Turnagy 2804 motors. Um, I can't show you the Canon camera on it because that's what I'm using to film the video, but uh, it does take the Canon and the GoPro perfectly fine. Uh, if I just zoom in here, you can see it's made from 10mm alloy box section, 2mm carbon fibre which I've milled out of my Shape Oco, and then just M3 nuts and bolts. Uh, it's working fine and needs a bit more tuning. Uh, I'm not brilliant at tuning the Alexmos boards, but it's only ever flown on this copter which is uh, just my little dead cap quad uh, just with a fat shark transmitter uh, all run on APM with the Hobby King switch to switch between the FPV camera which has a USD going through it and the GoPro I don't have anything that can take a video out of the Canon camera unfortunately but uh, as it turns out video on the Canon power shots is horrific the frame rate is that low that it strobes even when you're moving forward slowly uh, it does make amazing still pictures and it's such a shame because the, the camera lens and optics on this are so wide with no distortion at all. I mean if you look at that, that's the that's best you can get with the video and it just looks fantastic compared to the bent fisheye lens on the GoPro. But such is life, you live and learn and you're going to have to invest in something a bit better one day soon, but as soon as I finish my new Y4 uh, I'll be looking at bigger things to go on it too but uh, yeah, I'll uh, probably have more videos of that but here's some footage of this thing in action <laughs> 